This is our Swift Base Camp 2. It's a 2020 model. And although it very much is a caravan, we like to view it as more of a camper. And like all campers, there is no fixed bed. The bedding is made up from the seating, of which the Swift Base Camp 2 has two bench seats. So there are two sleeping configurations. First one is you can use the bench seats as single beds, one on each side. And if you remove these um, back cushions and store them under the benches, you've then got a good size single bed on each side. And then you've got the aisle then for when nature calls in the evening at night time. But for somebody like myself, who's six foot four, the single beds are too short. So I have to use the double bed configuration. To make up the double bed, simply pull out the slats from under each of the bench seats and drop the legs. And then simply put the back cushions from either side into the center to make up the double bed. So in this configuration, you have a very large double bed and as it is I personally sleep really well on that sleeping width to width but my wife when she sleeps on it without the mattress topper she um her body pressure points are in the the joints of the of the cushions and therefore we got the mattress topper for the topper we went for the panda topper it's a hydrofoam topper with orthopedic support it's the super king size that fits the base camp bed. And at the time of, it, of making the video, retails at £157. Now, that is expensive, but you get what you pay for. So let's have a look at the bed with the mattress topper on. So there's the Panda mattress topper on. Now, it's a super king size mattress topper. And that fits the bed perfectly. But if you're putting a duvet on the bed, you want to put a double duvet on it because you haven't got the overhang of your duvet, a double duvet, it fits the, um, the, fits the mattress topper perfectly. The topper itself has five centimeters of hydrofoam and is very luxurious and extremely comfortable to sleep on. When not in use, we store the topper in a duvet bag under the bench seat. And at night time, the cushions from the bench seats go in that duvet bag and are put under the bed out the way. For sleeping, we choose sleeping bags, mainly for the convenience, limited space to store them, and it's more of a camping experience. The only downside is, is that my mattress topper always has dirty doggy paw prints on it. The good news is, though, is that the sheet can be taken off the topper and put in the washing machine. The compromise of using the Panda super king size mattress topper is how do you get it back in the bag compressed and to go back under the bench seat after your night's sleep well i'll show you how that's done first thing to do is to fold the mattress topper into three then position the topper at an angle where you can get to it easily and start to roll it and as you roll it use the weight of your body to compress it As you can see here, I'm using my knee to hold the shape down, rolling it and compressing it. And I will keep this rolling and compressing until I get the, the mattress completely rolled up. And once it's rolled up, I use two compression straps to hold its shape down. After that, it just easily goes back into the duvet bag and it's ready to go back under the bench seat. And now it's just a case of lifting the bench seat back up and sliding the mattress topper back under. It's easy as that and takes a couple of minutes in total. And it's all that's left to do is to make up your living room and go off and enjoy your day's adventure knowing you've had a comfortable night's sleep. Thanks for watching.